Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show an example of asking for input, and I'm going to do that using a flow, which sends out an email with some options where the user can vote directly in those options. So uh, the scenario that I've constructed is that we have a new projects list, or have an existing projects list here in SharePoint, and each new project should be approved by the legal department. The legal department does not yet use SharePoint, and they want to decide directly from their email without having to open the project item. So that's one way of doing it, of course. You can just force them to go into the list and fill out the approval there. That would be the best. But let's do it with a flow so that they can just get the information they need and um, uh, then make the approval directly from the email. So first of all, let's create a column here. I'm going to make that a text column. I'm going to call that uh, legal approval. And the default value should be nothing, of course. Then I'll go into my new tab here and go to flowmicrosoft.com. I'm going to create a new flow. Going into my flows and uh, creating a from blank. Create from blank. There we go. And this is, of course, going to be a SharePoint trigger when a new item is created. Let's find that when an item is created. And it's going to be in the HQ site. And same thing with the list. This one does show up. All right. Depending on what, which type of, you know, of list it is, it might not show up. But all that's OK here. So then in my next step, I'm going to send an email with options. So let's do that. Office 365 Outlook. Send email with options. That's what we want. So I'll just send this to me for now. I'll represent the legal department there. And um, the subject is um, new project for approval. And then we can just do the title of the project. Project title, that's the one. And then the choices, of course. And as you see, they are comma separated. So I'm going to do uh, approved, rejected, need more info. Sounds like uh, three good options there. And of course, we can fill out the body also, and that would be good to have the project description in there. So let's find that there. Project description, there it is. Now, of course, the next step is to fill back into the SharePoint list whatever the legal department decided and update the list item. It's going to be a SharePoint action again. So we're going to update the list item. And again, we're using the same site, same list. And the ID, of course, of the one that we're working with. And we're not going to change anything. It's important here to not have any values in these when you update the list item, because otherwise they will actually reset the values on this. This is a bit of a bug, I would say in the flow update item task here. So you need to remove all these default values. Otherwise, when you make a change, it will be reset to that. And that we definitely do not want. But we want the legal approval to be this, the user response. We have the selected option. We don't have to actually write anything more there. So that's about it. So we update the item, remove all the default values, and then we test this. Save first. Um, call it ask for legal uh, project approval. That's what we're doing. So let's test that now. And I'll perform the trigger action, which is, of course, to create a new item in the list. So I'm going to create a new project. Project title, Peter's test project. And about ID value of AAA, which sounds great. And uh, there we have the project description. So let's just do this. Equals rand. We have some of those default tasks, text there. That will be excellent. So I'll just cut that out. So we see that we get something there. That's excellent. All right. So let's save that now. Now we saved a new um, project in the list. Let's go to my mailbox. Let's see first if it ran. Now your flow is running. 
now of course we are at the send email with option we're at that stage good all right so let's try this and check our mailbox open that in a new tab new project for approval peter's test project here is the whole description that i input there excellent and we have the approved rejected need more info all right so we will say that i need more info about this Thank you, your respond need more info has been successfully registered. So let's check the run history here and that's checked up also. So now we just need to find that item. To quickly find the latest uh, project that I just added, I will just go in and edit the current view to sort them by ID and those in descending order that will show me the latest project first. And there's my Peter's test project. And as you see, need more info came in on the legal approval there. So that concludes my demo on how to build a flow that asks for specific input from the legal department. If you want to get more input than just one quick response, then you should probably get them to fill out a form of some sort, and that will be another demo. But if you just want an input of one value, then this might work for you. Thank you for watching this demonstration.